Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Nagel back and I have finished the third place rig. Uh, I do keep going on about the specs but just in case you're just finding the first video please go to my channel and see the main competition video uh, introduction where you can see all the prizes for all the three rigs. But the components in this, uh, it's a Fractal R3 Arctic White and there's a Gigabyte P55UD4P uh, there's an i5-760 from Intel, there's a HIS-6870, there's a Coolink Curator, DS um, CPU heatsink, there is a 4GB of 1600 MHz 686 custom made just for this competition, Mushkin Ridgeback White RAM. Uh, there's a Kingston V plus 100 64GB uh, 64, oh, I do apologise, V plus 164 gigabyte solid state drive and there's a 650 watt MZXT Hale 90 power supply. Now what I'm going to do now is just cut you in so that you can have a close look around the rig uh, and then uh, we will um, go into some gaming footage uh, of the actual rig itself. Right then guys Time for an up close look at the rig so you can all analyse and inspect my handiwork. Just and I'm also going to show you around the back of the case to show you that it's pretty tidy around there as well. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. I told you all before that I turned the power supply around, and that was to enable me to get the wires into that small hole at the back. I'm trying to do this and still be able to see what's going on but there's only a small hole at the back and if you have the power supply round the other way you can't get the loop out of the gap so by turning it round means you can still get all the rest of the cables out and we've got uh, two PCI Express, a SATA and a Molex going out there as well all out of that small hole but it also keep, gives you a nice lot of room around the front for the airflow got the uh, SSD in the bottom just a lone SSD obviously that's a Kingston 64GB V plus 100 then we've got the HIS 6870 you can see what I meant about the power cables it's got them all nice and tidy quick look down at the into the XT PSU, but I really like it that way around. It really does just work optically for me. And then if we come up, you can see the Mushkin uh, custom made white ridgeback, cooling curator, and then the uh, fans in the top. If I stand up because I'm knelt down at the moment. Those cables aren't really up to my usual standard, but short of making my own and cutting them all down and spending an immense amount of time on it, that's as good as it was going to get. But right, I'm going to turn the case around quickly now so that you can see the cable tidying on the back. That is my studio light. Right then, round to the messy part of the back. Just to give you all a look to see what I've done cable tidying wise. Now, for the build itself, I didn't need any Molexes. Obviously, I don't know what the winner's going to need. So I've clipped these up here. And they're literally just using the clips of the Molexes. These are spring-loaded Molexes. That, and all you do is push the little spring down and then slide it into place. little system builder trick, or a custom builder trick. But they're nice and tidy but then should the uh, winner need Molexes to power anything or anything like that they're already fitted and it's not got a mess about with cable in the rig now it is as I said it is a bit messy for me but I've clipped everything up as much as I can the satas, the extra satas, there's an extra four satas underneath the SSD they're all hidden uh, white sata cable I've actually been um, saving white SATA cables up for a little while. 
and what I've done is I've used fan resistor cables to power the front fans and then the top two fans and we've, uh, as I'll show you in a second, we've linuxed the rig to death and it is perfectly stable and near on silent so even though the rig uh, is set up to be quiet it's an awesome little performer as well I've really gone into a lot of time into setting this up and making sure it's perfect but talking of Linux let's move on to the next part of the video so that you can see it benched the temperatures how quiet it is and everything like that right then guys onto some crisis footage uh, just to let you know the system settings, uh, we've got it at 1920 by 1200. Uh, all of the uh, settings are on enthusiast, and we have uh, two times AA uh, turned on, uh, and it keeps it around uh, sort of like 25 plus. Yeah, that is low, but as I said, we've got every single one of the um, like the texture settings and the detail settings at enthusiast, uh, and what we need to remember is that uh, it's a 4 gigahertz 200 times 20 i5 760 and a single unoverclocked 6870 and Mr. Christ and Mr. Strawberry not doing very well with crisis sporting a rather lovely gigabyte shirt with some chick on the back. Let's move the camera a bit. I quite like that t-shirt, I want one. Oh hang on a minute, I'll give it to him. Maybe I'll just have to give it take it back. Ha ah. But if you uh, listen to the uh, system by the side, if you can hear any fans at all, it's actually um, the graphics card. I'll pop you off in carry you in in a rather shaky unprofessional way I'm kind of putting the camera near the case I'll put you up now if I put you near this fan you're going to hear this fan noise it's not very loud at all and also Obviously we've got two fans in the front as well, so if I put you near the, that you'll hear those. But when you come back and you're actually gaming on it, you really can't hear anything but the graphics card. <coughs> and something that I uh, will say is by the time you have audio for the games, or your headphones on, then you won't hear anything at all. Mr. Strawberry doing a sterling job of uh, testing the rig out here. We thought we would show you just a big long session of gameplay rather than a, just a load of benchmarks. Because this is I suppose what we would call real world testing Linux does make the CPU fan go absolutely mental but 
with Prime 95, normal OCCT, um, or like gameplay, you, the CPU fan isn't going above 1200 RPM. I've actually got um, a HW monitor uh, running in the background on the main desktop so I'll be able to show you the temperatures when Mr. Strawberry's finished gaming as well. Hey guys, just wanted to show you this. Go down for the core speed and the overclock and then up here the temperatures. Now when we were playing Crisis they were the uh, minimum if I go up to the top so that you can see the actual value then the min and then the max so you can see the values that in Crisis it hadn't even gone above 50 and you can see oh, it's gone past it now but what we're going to do I'm just going to get Mr. Strawberry to pop Prime 95 on and I will show you the temperatures for that as well Right then guys, we've had uh, Prime on for quite a while now, you can see it there running. i zoom you in so you can see the clock and it's all still the same. And if we go up, you can see that the CPU fan has not gone above uh, 1132 RPM. And we've had a max temperature on one core of 64 degrees. And that's with the rig uh, being pretty much silent. Uh, so I'm quite happy with those clocks. I'm very happy with those temperatures. And I'm even happier with uh, how quiet the actual rig is. Just a quick shot for everyone to show you the 3D Mark Vantage P-Score. 17,000 on the GPU, 18,500 on the CPU, giving us 17,300 overall. Which isn't bad for an i5-7-6, seeing as 6 8 70, is it? Anyway, enough of the boring, shaky screenshots. Anyone feeling seasick yet? Woo! Right then guys, so there you go, this is the rig complete. Uh, I'm going to be moving uh, on straight away with the i7-950 system, but this, as I said, is our third place system. I'm going to be moving on now with the uh, second place system, so that we've still got a fair amount of videos to go. I will have it all done and dusted by Christmas when the uh, competition is available to open. Uh, People keep asking what you're going to have to do to be able to enter. Well, all you're going to have to do is be a member on the forums. Uh, and when on the entry page, all you have to do is put your email address and your forum username. And then that's it. And pretty much we will be checking uh, everything all tallies up before any of the final decisions are made. So don't be thinking about, you know what I mean, just making up a username. Because it will all be checked and cross-checked with all our forum database and everything like that. But yeah, uh, I'd love to know what you think of this because uh, each of the rigs I actually did hand pick the parts and then pester the <coughs> the vendors to be able to get the parts. I say pester, but they were pretty helpful really. So yeah, these rigs are all specced by me and I, It's especially with like the cable management and everything like that, I've been trying to put my old school time to lift customs touch on them. I would have liked to have done more, but... Hey, with three rigs, I wasn't going to be able to get the time to do a custom paint job or anything, would I? But, to be quite honest with you, for a, a rig like the Fractal, which is, you know what I mean, it's a lovely gloss white anyway, I really like this, and I've been really, really enjoying building this rig. But anyway, I'm going to shut up, and uh, then we will move on to the next video. But we need to thank Mr. Strawberry, who sat by the side of me for the crisis footage. So, one, two, three. Thank you, Mr. Strawberry. That's okay. Dolly's <laughs> <laughs> on Logan out.